In this video, I'll demonstrate how to disassemble the Samsung Galaxy Nexus SGH i515. To do this disassembly, we recommend you use a cell phone prying tool and a one millimeter Phillips screwdriver. Please remove all SIM cards and SD, SD cards from the phone and the battery. There's six screws to remove. All right, now that all the screws are removed, you're going to need to separate the rear housing from the front housing. What I like to do is just go ahead and press on the back a little. Then take your prying tool and just separate the housing all the way around. Now go ahead and start disconnecting the flex cables. And then the Bluetooth piece right here. Slowly pull up on this PCB board. Right here's your earpiece, your ear speaker, and your front facing camera. So be careful when you're pulling these two pieces out. If you need to replace the front facing camera or the rear facing camera, to replace the rear one, you just remove via the flex cable. Comes right out, easy replacement. With the front facing camera, you got a little tab right there. Go and flip that up. Excuse me, right here. So flip that down. There's your front facing. Those two are very easy to fix. Now we'll remove the USB port. To do that you'll need to remove this um, 
bottom microphone and speaker, or excuse me, the, uh, <clears throat> yes, this is your uh, microphone down here. Only one screw is holding it in. Take your prying tool. Put it in between here. Just like that. Come, come right out. It's all one piece. This is all your USB. It's held in by a little adhesive. So don't pull it too much. And down here it's really careful. You don't want to pull too hard. Adhesive is... Bend this a little bit, it's alright, it's meant to be flexible. So if you have a bad USB port, this would be the time you would put in your nice new one. This one's good. Now I'm not going to disassemble the front. We may do that in a later video if we get enough requests for it. So now I'll show you how to reassemble it from here. Putting the USB port back in first. You'll notice all, along this flex cable there's these little tabs right here. The hole. You want to make sure those go right back into the housing mold. There. There's another one down here. Okay, now that now that that's back in, we're gonna go ahead and put back in the um, microphone and ear jack. Just gonna click right back in there. Excuse me, snap right back in. Make sure you put the flex cable back in right here. All right, now we're going to put it back in the PCB board. Please note the uh, SIM card does, this piece does remove. I'll go ahead and show you real quick. Fairly easy. It's only held in by a little, four little prongs. These are the pieces holding it in. You want to make sure the speaker is plugged right back into the PCB board. Right 
there. Make sure your cables are free before you put it back in. Do not forget to connect your power button or else your phone won't turn on. You don't have to take the uh, power button off to connect it to the PCB board. I'm going to because I don't want to sit here and fight with it. We got so much time to make this video. And if you forget to do this, you'll know when you turn your phone on or when it doesn't turn on. I go ahead and verify everything's put back correctly. Everything looks good. And we'll go ahead and put on the uh, rear housing. The volume rocker button does have a habit of falling out, so make sure it's in there. This one's in there. Go ahead and put all the screws back in and you are finished disassembling your phone.
Go ahead and power it on to make sure everything's working. Looks good. So if you have any questions or comments, go ahead and leave them below or send us a private message. Thank you for watching this video and have a nice day.